I'm dead too. I'm dead too. I'm heartbroken. I'm hurt. Tonight, a Nashville mother says she will never find peace again after losing her 14 year old daughter in a dad deadly stabbing. Now, Metro Police tell us a simple argument led to this violence, the stabbing outside a Northside Walmart. The person who ended this young girl's life is still out there right now. Fox 17 News Kylie Walker live at the North Nashville Police Precinct after talking with the victim's mother about her obvious heartbreak. Scott, 14 year old Malia Powell Ridley had her whole life ahead of her. She was a cheerleader set to begin the ninth grade by this fall. However, all of that was taken from her in the matter of just one night. She was known as a vibrant and bubbly young girl who loved life. Flamboyant, <laughs> a free spirit child. <laughs> She loved life. She didn't want me. She never sat down. A life tragically taken after police say another teen stabbed her with a pocket knife. My baby didn't deserve this. She was 14 years old. With Malia's mother, Ebony Ridley Powell, finding it hard to talk about her daughter in past tense. This is not real. I hadn't even processed the fact that my child is dead. I can't, I can't. I still feel her presence. She's still here. I can still hear her voice. What, baby? She's gonna talk to me. Police say the teens did not know each other, but, quote, had words inside the Walmart on Dickerson Pike, with the confrontation continuing into the parking lot next to the Wego bus stop. This is where police say that the suspect asked Malia if she wanted to fight before charging her while holding a pocket knife. We need to do a better job of raising our kids. A fight shouldn't turn to death. The kids, kids have altercation. It's just, it's just life, you know. I'm, yeah. It shouldn't turn into death. My, my daughter shouldn't be dead. Malia's mother asking those involved to do the right thing and come forward. It is not just parks and overpasses that are flooded with homeless people. Now it's private homes seeing the impacts of all of this. That's right, like one South Nashville apartment complex in Antioch that has a homeless person sleeping right there in the breezeway. Fox 17 News' Caitlin Miller live now in South Nashville at the police precinct with why it's so difficult to get police to do anything about this problem. The property manager told me they banned this homeless person from the park at Richards Road apartment complex, but both residents and businesses say they're frustrated because they want to feel safe both, both at their homes and at work. People at the parks at Richards Road apartment complex say they're coming home to trash, bad smells, and homeless people living in their breezeways. And I have a little chihuahua and I can't take her out. I asked them to move. They refused. They say they can sit anywhere that they want to. Anderson says this is the first time in 29 years of living here that she doesn't feel safe. The property manager told us they have a trespass waiver on file for the man who's been sleeping in the breezeways and says they have additional security patrolling. We spoke with the homeless man who's been living on and off the Richards Road apartment complex property. Do you want help? Yeah, right now I want help. We told the Open Table Nashville Executive Director Paula Foster that this man wants help, and now they are going to check on him tomorrow and connect him with the resources he needs. Foster says she's not surprised that homeless people are seeking shelter at private residences. People are trying to get out of the elements, and that makes perfect sense to me. They just don't have anywhere to go. The only way that we're going to end homelessness in Nashville is to build more housing that's appropriate for people who need supported housing. She adds the city is moving in the right direction, but more needs to be done. National Charter Schools will now partner up with the Tennessee Middle School Athletic Association. That way students can take part in school sports this fall. TMSAA is affiliated with TSSAA. This follows a decision by Metro Schools to keep charter school students from taking part in the district's leagues. Although the new partnership won't change what sports are offered, parents and players, well, they might notice differences out on the field. Before, there was a chance where a charter school could partner with a traditional school to create one sports team. Now that that's not available, there's a chance that charters will have to partner with each other in a different way, but the sports that were offered will be offered again. 